The ripples from the Harvey Weinstein scandal have extended far beyond Hollywood and the film industry, with women across the world sharing their experiences. Today, more than half of women and almost a quarter of men who responded to a Sky News data poll revealed they'd been sexually harassed at least once. Rebecca Williams reports. Sexual harassment and assault is happening. It's happened to me and it's happened to many people I know. Street harassment is a huge problem and something has to be done about it. It would be really hard to find a woman or a girl here who hadn't experienced some form of sexual harassment. Thousands of women all over the world are coming together, speaking out against sexual harassment. Among them, former Bristol University student Hannah Price, who herself has been sexually harassed. To make a stand, she created this video, sharing women's stories of rape and assault. The majority hid their identity by using emoji faces. And the video itself went viral. Some guys behind me were grabbing my bum and just touching me inappropriately. An incident happened on the 16 bus. Boys felt it was okay to vulgarly talk about what they would like to do to both me and my friend. My experience of sexual harassment at university was kind of inescapable. You couldn't really get away from it. It was quite overwhelming whether you were in a club or walking down the street. That effect on me has really kind of shocked me to the core that I felt like I needed to do something about it and get this being talked about more. In fact, Sky data suggests that 55% of women and 22% of men have been sexually harassed at least once in their lives. 31% of women and 13% of men have been sexually harassed at work, whilst 52% of women and 19% of men have been sexually harassed outside of the workplace. Here in Bristol, sexual harassment on the streets has become a pretty big issue. In fact, so much so that in the last few days, Avon and Somerset Police has become just the third force in the country to create a category for gender within hate crime. To try to combat the problem, an interactive map's been created so people can report where they've been either verbally or physically attacked. We had increasing numbers of women coming to us to talk about street harassment as a particular problem in Bristol. And so we wanted to explore that and see what could be done about it, how we could challenge those behaviours and think about how people could address that and to work towards creating a zero tolerant city. Disappointed! Yeah. As more and more people come forward to talk about their experiences, the more and more initiatives there are to try and combat the problem. What are you doing? I don't, I, don't, I don't think um, she wants to speak to you. This theatre company, for example, is working with charities, highlighting the issue in schools through acting. I was very keen at actually using my research and using the women that all participated in my research, somehow translating their experience into something that could be used as an education piece. More than half of women have told us that they've been harassed at one point in their lives. But with so many celebrities speaking out in recent weeks, it seems others are now being encouraged to share their stories. Rebecca Williams, Sky News in Bristol.